Greetings, fellow adventurers! This is Venturian, and welcome back to An Oblivion Tale. Um, I was, okay, between episodes, I was getting ready to film another one, and I suddenly noticed that one of the people in this, this tavern, this inn here, okay, you know how I accidentally transported that royal guard from the Imperial City into the TARDIS, and I gave him the name Clarice? Because, I don't know, I thought it was a fun name. Well, I named him Clarice, and then I was in this inn, and then I was hovering over one of the people in the inn, and I noticed what their name was. Her name is Clarice. If you pronounce it that way, I'm pronouncing it that way because I can do whatever the heck I want. But it looks like, you see her name in the bottom right corner. Her name is Clar Clarice. Claris. I don't, look, I'm going to call it Clarice because it's hilarious. And you know what else this means? This means that I need to send her to the TARDIS as well. So, TARDIS companion. Boop. My alteration increased because of that. I don't even know what I did. But she's now in the TARDIS. Which, I feel I feel happy about that. I really, I really do. Okay, so! I've also... noticed that I forgot to answer any of your comments in the last you, episode. The hero of Kavats. Oh, yes, I mean, I'm this the hero. This is truly Wait. an honor. Oh, yeah, thank you. Thank you, pointy head. Anyway, I forgot to answer any of your comments last episode. Sorry about that. Sometimes I forgot because, uh, man, his, his, his whole sideburn area is just... Anyway, um, I forgot to answer your comments because I, I guess I was so involved in the quest and all that stuff was happening with the clone, which I don't even know where the clone went. I don't, I'll probably run into him later. But, yeah, I forgot your comments, so we're going to do that now. I'm going to answer the first one now. But remember, I am answering two comments every, well, every video that I remember to answer them in. So, yeah, if you want to, if you've been trying to get your comments into the Gmod videos and haven't been able to, you have a much better chance in these because I'm accepting two comments every single time that I remember. Um, so, the first comment comes from Wook, Wook Tent Gamer, and he says, Jordan, who was your favorite character in your Let's Play, Brothers, A Tale of Two Sons, and Why? Good day. I am more surprised than anything that someone remembers that that Let's Play even exists. Like... I filmed that way back when. I doesn't even have a webcam, but I'm glad someone actually saw it. But yes, my my um, let's play Tales, uh, Brothers Tale of Two Sons. I did that way back. It's like only eight episodes long. If you want like a quick let's play, there's eight episodes. Um, but yeah, my favorite character would probably be the younger brother, which his name was Jerry. I think we named him Tom and Jerry because we thought it was funny at the time. But um. Yeah, and Jared, because he now went through so much this? stuff, and I think he's probably Research the best character continues. in the game by far, because I think he went through all of that and still came out on top. I don't want to spoil it for anyone who actually is going to watch that, even though it's, it's not a good Let's Play. But it, it, the game is awesome. The game is terrific. Um, okay, so another thing. Another thing on the list of things to do. Um, I've been getting a lot, of que um, a lot of comments about multiple different things to do, and I've got a huge list now of things people want to see in this. Um, the top of the list is, of course, find Mimi, um, do more arena matches, but, also, I noticed I missed something, apparently, with this TARDIS mod. Apparently, there are usable sonic screwdrivers in this mod, apparently, and I missed them. So, I'm going to try and find those. So, we're going back into the in- oh, hey, hey, Cla Cla Clarice? I want you to meet Clarice! <laughs> That's- <laughs> really funny to me. I'm sorry, but uh, hey, Clarice, I found I found another companion to keep you company. So C Clarice, come come talk to come talk to Clarice. I'm going to be amused by that for a long time. Get used to it. Okay, so there are apparently sonic screwdrivers. Um, there's probably like a ton of them too, and I don't know how what in the world has happened. I, I slipped my mouse, and suddenly I saw them was like, what? Just looked at the wall, and this looked right. <laughs> and I couldn't move. It just, like, stuck here for a second, and then we were fine. I don't know what asylum, like, I know the wall looks cool, but you don't even need to be that into it. Okay, the infirmary. Maybe there's one in here. So we got to keep a lookout. They should be on top of desks, I think. So they're not in cabinets. From what I heard, they're not in cabinets. They're just on top of desks, if you find one. So they should be pretty easy to spot. I know I'm going a little fast, but there's so much of the TARDIS to cover, I can't really go slow. Because Zero Room never had anything in it. The garden, I don't think, had anything in it. 
Um, what were some of the main areas we went to before? Some of the main rooms. You'd think the bedroom would have a wooden door. This was a shoe closet. Really doubt there's a sonic screwdriver in there. But I think the sonic screwdrivers, if they work like they did in Skyrim, means that we will actually be able to use them to open up locks, which is actually cool. The Rift Energy Generator is what I killed myself in last time, which don't mess around with a Rift Energy Generator inside of a TARDIS. It's a mistake. Alright, what's in this direction? Living area? Hey. This is not this is not a living area. This is like That's not a living area though. Anyway, what if I change the desktop theme again? New desktop theme selected. Awesome. I don't know what it looks like though. We'll find out when we get back, I guess. Alright. What happens if I summon a TARDIS while I'm inside the TARDIS? Oh, not this thing. Mmm! Oh, that messes with me every single time. Oh, wow, that is so weird. Okay. Um, control room, control room. These are fake control rooms. These are the background control rooms. I learned that the hard way. Living area. I don't think they'd put a sunscreen over here. Or would they? I don't know. Like, you'd think one of these cabinets would just have one in it or something? I don't know. No? I'm not seeing one. Where would you put a sunscreen ever if you're going to put one somewhere? Like, where would you put one? I would think just one of these cases would have one, but I'm not seeing it. Just keep your eyes open, because I already searched all of this, but apparently I wasn't searching good enough because I missed the sunscreen drivers. Okay, so this is... Uh, library. Or right, maybe the library would have one. I mean, I would put one in the library. So, the problem is, though, this library got flooded and exploded... Which means, well, voila! The Tenth Doctor Sonic Screwdriver is sitting right here. And I didn't get it before. Now let's see how this works. Okay, it should be under weapons, right? Sonic Screwdriver. Okay, I... What? How does it... How does it work? Does that have to be locked? I guess I'd have to find a locked door before I can really test it. That's cool. Alright, so I have a sonic screwdriver, but there's still another one. Or a few more. Okay, so if we got the one in here, where else is there? What other rooms are there? Um, hmm. There was an infirmary, but we checked that. There was a kitchen. Swimming pool? I don't know if there'd be one in the swimming pool. If there was, how would you ever find it? I don't know if you could find it in the swimming pool. I'm not even gonna try. Man, that would be all day long searching, trying to find something that's in the water. Um, wait, there was a workshop or something like that, wasn't there? There was a guest room? Galley? What's a, what's a galley again? Oh, it's a kitchen area, I guess. Okay, that goes in front. Okay, so that circles back around. There, were, there was a workshop, I thought, somewhere. Man, I get so confused in here. But yeah, so I have this on a screwdriver. I have one of them anyway. So we'll be able to use that to get through locks, which is cool. Workrooms, there we go. Alright, so maybe there's one in here? What is this? Altar of spell making. Altar of spell making. Alright, so I don't want to like look too fast and miss something, but I probably will. Alright, just look for anything that looks like a sun screwdriver. driver. No. Like I said, they're not supposed to be in cabinets. They're supposed to be on cabinets. Which means... I don't know what that means. Okay, anything in here? There are these... I don't know, I might as well take these. <laughs> Doctor's not going to need them. Um, okay, let's go back in here. Do we already check in here? Okay, there's a, that weird extra TARDIS. I don't know what you're supposed to do with that. Um, there's this empty room. Um, you can always hide a screwdriver in an empty room, right? I mean, it's what I would do. Okay, well, we got... Okay, there's a bunch of cabinets here. Oh, wait, there's one. Alright. It's a sun screwdriver green. It looks the same as a blue one, but it's green. I don't know if they have different powers or what. But there's a green one. Awesome. Uh, probably more. How many do we need? I mean, we've... I've got one and two. How many sun screwdrivers do you actually need? Like, I'm trying to think, there's probably one in the bedroom. If I had to guess, there'd be one in the bedroom. Control room. This is the main control room, right? Whoa! 
It looks like this now. Wait, Clarice? Clarice? You still in here? Buddy? Buddy? Pal? Clarice? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Clarice is gone. This is the right one, right? This is the actual one. So if I... Yeah, this is the actual control room now. I changed it to look like that. But Clarice disappeared. Wait, is she back in the inn? Where she lost somewhere in the TARDIS. Clarice? Clarice is new. My ear, citizen. Oh, crap. Okay, well, I must have... When you change the desktop theme, it doesn't so much remove... Or, it doesn't so much just change the desktop theme as change which control room is primary. Which means Clarice and Clarice Jr. or whatever are still in the TARDIS somewhere. They're just in the other control room. Right? Which means I have to go rescue them. Uh, where does this go? Living area. Okay, wait. They would go to the other control rooms. Okay, where were the other control rooms? Because they were in... Control room two, I guess it is, which means I have to go back to the other control rooms, find where control room two is actually physically in this area. What is this? Main bedroom. Okay, I'm just checking in here for the screwdriver real quick. All right, so where's the actual bedroom? Is it up or down? Is the bedroom up or down? Is that a bedroom up there? I don't know where to actually look for a screwdriver. I guess I'll just check around here. But yeah, so when you change the actual desktop theme, you're not actually changing how it looks as much as you're changing which room is called in as being the main room, right? Alright, is there a screwdriver in this room anywhere, per se? Mm, doesn't look like it. Like, I would guess there would be one in here, but I'm not seeing one. I don't know, if you guys know of any other screwdriver locations, just let me know, and I'll go ahead. Night Eye Amulet. Why do I have that in here? Mark one to okay, the TARDIS manual. Okay, so that's that. I got that out of there, but I need to go find the other TARDIS room so I can find Clarice and Clarice. I don't want to have Clarice and Clarice be missing. They're my friends. They're my companions. All right, we have another comment from a fellow adventure. This comment comes from Pindash, and he says, Jordan, serious question. Who is your favorite SpongeBob character? Mine is Sandy. Um, favorite SpongeBob character? I'm pretty sure I have to go with Patrick. I mean, Patrick is hilarious and he's awesome, and I always laugh at everything he says, so I'm going to have to say Patrick. I mean, there's a lot of good SpongeBob characters, but Patrick has got to be my favorite. Um, so yeah, that's definitely. I mean, I, I like a lot of SpongeBob characters. I've seen a lot of episodes. Like, it's probably embarrassing how many SpongeBob episodes I've seen. But yeah, Patrick is is like he's he's legit boss at everything he does. Um, alright, I doubt there's any screwdrivers here, but I'm just checking just to be sure. Just to be safe. Just to be absolutely certain. Alright, so where does this go again? Living area. Okay, everything is really confusing. Okay, so now we're here. Which we were here before. I have to find the other TARDIS rooms. I found... Swimming pool. We didn't check. Okay, and then this goes... So where exactly? Okay, guest rooms, galley. Okay, this is the wrong way. I was just at the fake rooms, not the fake rooms, but the backup rooms or whatever they're called. I don't know. It's so confusing. The TARDIS oh, it still confuses me how it actually works. Work rooms. Okay, we found that. Where does this go? Okay, that's the normal control room. Okay, so we're we're making progress. That's the control room in that direction, which means if I go this way just a door. Wait, what? What is this? I've never even seen this part before. Oh, well, this is unsettling. Wait, there's a screwdriver. It's a yellow sun screwdriver. Laser screwdriver! Whoa! I wasn't expecting to find a laser one. What is that? Does that how does that work? Uh, which one's this laser one? That's green. Blue. Oh, there it is. Laser. How does the laser one work? Whoa! Does it actually work as like a laser? I don't know. I need to fire that at something later. Okay. Well, this is terrifying. What is going on in here? Wait, why can't I open this? Oh, they're cells. Okay. 
Why are there prison cells in the TARDIS? This is really creepy. I don't want to be here anymore. What does that sound? Wait, that's not... Is that me doing it, or is... What is shooting at me? I keep hearing the sound like something is shooting... Is there something in here? I don't... I don't see anything. These cell doors are blocked. I can't go through them until I press this button and then I can go in. I don't know. That's, I just gotta get out of here. I'm creeped out. There's something down here and I don't want to be here anymore. This place is terrifying. Okay, let's just, just get out of here. I like how the TARDIS has like really dark secrets. I'm like, ew. I don't want to be there. That's really scary. Alright. Still gotta make progress. Okay, hang on. Work rooms. Okay, we went here last time. And I found the last screwdriver, and then I just left. Is there another way through here to lead somewhere else? What? I, did, I, did I just pick up the decoy TARDIS? Well, I don't know what to do about that, but I currently have it in my inventory. Which is perfectly normal. Okay, that's swimming pool. This is the library. Where's the library empty out to? I was just there, and then I lost it. Old corridors? Okay, this goes back to that old place I was here before, yeah. Okay, so I was here before. Maybe it's in here somewhere? I don't know. Um, where does this go? Docking bay? Wait. That's a... That's a landing vessel from the Enterprise D. That's Star Trek. That's not Doctor Who! Why is there a sh landing shuttle? What? Why is there a landing shuttle from the Enterprise D? What in the world? Airlock, no ship docked. What? And I like how there's a storage barrel in here. I don't know what that's for either. So why is there a... Why is there a landing craft? What in the world? What? Okay, now I'm lost. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay, it's messing with my brain. Where are we going? This place is ridiculous. What in the world is this? Note to self. Why is the note so huge? Some corruption seems to be influencing the data bit that di di dictates size of a few older stored halls and room sections. Must have big investigate that fault. So the hallway just shrinks to nothing? What in the world is this place? What is this? Eternal Garden. Okay, great. We're back out somewhere I actually recognize. That's good. Okay, workrooms is there. What is this? Storage. Let's go to storage. So what's what could possibly be in storage? Okay, there's one of everything apparently. Wow. Okay, storage is like cram packed full of everything. What is all of this? There's like one of everything in here. I'm uh, trying to find Clarice and Clarice, but this TARDIS is so ridiculously huge. Okay, well I made it through storage, and now I'm going this way, old corridors. I'm already in old corridors. How does this go? What? I'm so confused. I am so very lost. It's so crazy. Storage. Wait, I'm in storage. Wait, what? Huh? Wait, is this different storage? How many storages could you possibly have? Is this the same one or a different one? Wait. This is looking like the same exact storage I was just in. I'm going in circles! Guys, I'm scared for my health. I am legitimately scared I'll never get out of here. Okay. So we're here. Okay, I went through that before, so I know where that goes. This goes back to storage. Oh my gosh! Okay, just let me out of storage. That's confusing. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's go back to workrooms. Let's get the heck out of there. Okay, um... 
Okay, we just gotta get out of here. Let's just get the crap out. Just give me back to a door. I just need a door. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna go insane. I'm going to go insane in here. I can't even get out. Okay, all I need to do is find the two console rooms. They've gotta be in here somewhere. They have got to be in here somewhere. Alright, let's go back in through here. Maybe there's no way out through here. Alright, if I go this way, it leads me... No? What's that sound? What was that sound? You guys heard that, right? What was that? Living area. Okay, here we go. No, this is it. Okay, so this is control room that looks like... this. Hey, you guys are here! Okay, this is, the, this is another control room, but it's not currently being used as the actual control room. So they are still here like they always were. Okay, so yeah, we got them. Alright, all I gotta do to return them is to go into here, and TARDIS companion, and then... Wait, just... Okay, there we go. Okay, he moved. Good. And this... Okay, so now if I get out of here and go back to the actual TARDIS, which, wait a minute, now I'm curious. What happens if I spawn the TARDIS inside of the TARDIS? What if I'm like... Oh, it doesn't work while you're in the TARDIS. Okay, that makes more sense. That makes... That actually makes sense. Okay, because you wouldn't want that to actually work like that. Okay, we gotta go back this way. I think I know how to get back to the actual console room. I hope. I think. Okay, all I gotta do is go to here. And a little bit further. A little bit further. Alright, here it is. So right here and on the left. Got it. Yes, I'm get I'm trying to learn my way around the TARDIS, which is great. Alright, so Clarice, you guys here? Clarice? Clarice and Clarice? Cla oh no, I thought it worked. Or did I remove them? Are they back where they started? Wait, hang on. If I go back into the end, is she back? Cla Clarice? Oh, there you guys are! Trespassing in the okay, get back in, get back in the TARDIS. No, I pressed the wrong button! Darn it! No, no, let me out! Let me out! Let me out! Let me out! I need TARDIS companion! Okay. I'm confused. Okay, so I go back in here. I want you. And you. Okay. There we go. Right! Awesome! There you guys are. That was a really hard way to do it, but I got Clarice and Clarice back! I saved you guys from the depth of the TARDIS. I knew you guys were still in there. That is all for this time. If you guys enjoyed this episode of exploring the TARDIS yet again and finding even more stuff, leave a like, leave a comment, and we'll see you next time.